We are Venom. So here we are, um, as voted for. This is the next Patreon uh, drop of content. Um, you guys voted for the uh, bass synth um, over the SP404 style effects, but don't worry, they'll be coming soon. Um, so yeah, this, this I, synth I created in Ableton. It's using all stock Ableton instruments and effects. Um, and I've called it Venom um, because it's, it specializes in these kind of evolving, kind of top-heavy aggressive bass sounds perfect for kind of drum and bass dubstep any kind of bass music really um i'll take you through now just some of the controls um and a few of the presets um all the track you heard in the intro uh, was a track i created using this bass synth so all the bass sounds came from this synth uh, some of them are the presets on here so the first one venom sounds like this You can hear that kind of evolving motion, which is the kind of key signature to this synth I designed. So um, we control them really with the tone, move, and rate controls. And essentially what it is, is some notch filters kind of swinging around like uh, and intertwining with each other to create like interesting kind of movement and timbres. Um, some of the presets can give us an example um, of kind of the versatility of it. Uh, 808 here, kind of 808 style heavy bass. <laughs> Nice big heavy 808. Um, you can also create some kind of smoother sounds with using the filter. So kind of smooth sub sound there. Uh, this is smash and stab. Uh, high impact. It's what I call sleeping giant. Grindy sort of one here. So you can see you can get a lot, a lot of different sounds out of it. Um, and like I said, I'll go back to I'm gonna go back to Venom. Um, and just show you the controls. So we've got obviously an ADSR here. At the moment I've got a release, for example. We can tighten that up. Um, if I want, and obviously shape it with the ADSR. Um, like I said, we've got the key controls really on this synth for these tone, move, and rate. Um, listen to the way tone will change the kind of quality of this sound. My release is up a bit there, isn't he? Um, yeah, you can hear that kind of nasal quality that tone will do, and that combined with the move and rate, moves are essentially how much movement it's going to do and this is how fast the movement's going to be so going this way it'll slow down a bit speed up the rate of course we've got a filter on here so we can um, uh, filter out the, the high end So that'd be brilliant. You know, you could um, assign an LFO to that um, to get some kind of filter movement as well if you wanted. Um, we've got uh, here. We've got two layers. So if, uh, most of all, most of these controls are aimed at this top section, and then we've got a dedicated sub bass, which I doubt you'll be able to hear on your phone or whatever. But if you've got headphones on, you'll be able to hear. It's basically a sine wave, uh, which we can mix in with our top layers which has got a bunch of obviously distortion on it. you can hear the wave shape you can select here as well um, if you go to the bottom it's a sine wave but it's it's running through a lot of distortion so so we can we can select wave shape and change the timbre a bit more we've got distortion types as well let's hear that on the sign 
and we can add a th little bit of a thump as well like that 808 kind of style thump at the front end of the sound <laughs> Um, we've got a further drive stage, so I might go back to that kind of um, 808 style. Push this drive a bit more. So that's another drive save art for the thump, so we can get a little bit more like kind of aggression there. Um, and of course, we've got this um, uh, reverb you can hear kind of going on. We can turn that off if you want a drier sound. And that's going to the side. But the uh, reverb is only affecting uh, the top, real top end, really. So if I put the reverb on, you'll see that like, on the lower end. Just hear that little bit on the top. So I think it makes a really nice kind of big, it's a big like hall kind of style reverb on there. So you can see you can get a huge variety of sounds out of this. Um, so to get your hands on this, uh, you sign up for my Patreon, uh, tier two. Um, you can uh, download uh, the, the Venom Bass Synth. Um, I will put, I will finish the track um, and put that up for everyone on tier one. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, thanks so much for supporting me on Patreon. It really means a lot and means I can do a lot more content like this and make my own music, which is wholly appreciated. So yeah, big up. Peace.